Slide on my suit. Lace up my shoe. Sheila. My one and only daughter. My girly girl. How lucky am I? You're my heart. And helping you grow from a cute little girl into a lovely young woman. It's been an honor and a privilege. Joe. From the moment you and Sheila connected, I knew you were someone very special to her from the start. As I've come to know you over the years, I see what a truly fine young man and very special person you are. Sheila, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May 4th, 2019, Joe and I attended a Kentucky Derby charity event with a bunch of our friends, and Sheila happened to be there with her friends as well. They started talking and hit it off right away. A couple days later, Joe called me, and he told me that this girl, Sheila, was awesome. He said that they already had a date in a few hours at a beautiful rooftop bar right by my apartment at the time, and that he lost his card at the event, so he needs to borrow mine. I'm proud to say I funded the first date, and the rest is history. Sheila, it was just a few years ago that we were sitting at Toku celebrating our made-up anniversary of July 11th. At the time, we had to pick an approximate read random date because there was never any sort of official start to our relationship. That was the beautiful thing of it all. There was no start because it truly felt from day one that I just wanted you in my life the rest of the way. And what's funny is how those days almost seem so foreign now. Like there was even a world where I didn't get to see you as the first and last person I see every day. Words and tales from storybooks. But those early times were always characterized by one common element. We didn't just make time for each other, we made the best of ourselves for one another each time. As we've gotten closer to the wedding, I've spent a lot of time thinking about our future together. It's almost hard to comprehend all the things we don't know yet. It's almost daunting, but the fact that I get to go through it all with you doesn't make it scary at all. I'm just so excited to see what unfolds. I'm excited to meet our kids, I'm excited to see you be a mother, and I'm so excited to be your husband. But I, don't need to write it. I want to finish by telling you what my favorite thing about you is. Well, there are a few smaller ones first, like your love for sleep, your thorough inspection of chicken to make sure it's up to code, and your acceptance of the Cooper voice as a common vernacular. In all seriousness, what I love most about you is your care for other people. You make sure everyone in the room is treated with respect, with kindness, and with love. You talk, but you're also one of the rare people who listens. You empathize with what people are saying, and you always want to help. And the greatest part of it all is you don't expect anything in return for it. You just want love and kindness to spread. It's amazing to watch you get thrown in a room with 20 people you've never met and come out with more than a few genuine connections. Can't compare not as good. Dear Joe, we made it. We're finally here and it's finally happening. All of the planning and anticipation will be well worth it as soon as I see your face at the end of the altar. I truly can't picture my life without you. You are not only going to be my husband, but my partner in life. When stars align, perfect harmony. I hope all the amazing things this life has to offer, while recognizing it won't always be easy, happen to us. I hope to welcome beautiful, healthy children into the world and that they will make the world a better place. Oh, wow. Oh, my Lord.
pulls the people. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for loving me unconditionally and being such a constant in my highs and lows and best of all, always keeping me laughing. I can't wait to be your wife and start this new adventure of marriage together. I have a feeling it's going to be our best one yet. Here's to a lifetime of laughter, meals that bring family together, and always loving one another. I love you, Sheila. Love is the reason that all of us are here today. Love is real and it takes on flesh. Because today, God stretches out his hands and joins your hearts together. Today you took hands as the best of friends, but today you fall deeper in love in a way that only God could write. From the moment, from the very second that you came into existence, God meant for the two of you to have this day. That's why this is the day the Lord has made for the two of you. And all of us rejoice and are glad to surround you, but we rejoice and are glad because we stand around you to witness how your love becomes real and living how your love makes a difference in the whole world. The two of you standing in this place today make a difference in the whole world. That's why love is not just a word. It's not a thing. It takes on flesh in the two of you. And your love, your marriage will be unlike any other because God created you for one another. We're here because of love. Not just a word floating out there, not just another wedding, not just something that we get together and celebrate. No, we're here because God has placed in Sheila and Joseph's heart the gift of love. Today, this love changes all of our hearts. Today, as we celebrate in this church and we celebrate with great rejoicing and dancing tonight, remember that God has placed love in all of our lives. Tonight, this day, you stand in the presence of love. It's wrapped in their hearts, and God will wrap his hands around that and will join their hearts together forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of His Son, Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Blessed are you, O God, our Father. Praise be your name forever and ever. Let the heavens and all your creation praise you forever. You made Adam, and you gave him his wife Eve to be his help and support. And from these two, the human race descended. You said, it is not good for the man to be alone. Let us make him a partner like himself. Now, Lord, you know that I take this wife of mine, not out of lust, but up for a noble purpose. Call down your mercy on me and her and allow us to live together to a happy old age. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things endures all things. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. Sheila and Joe, you have come together into the house of the church 
so that in the presence of the church's minister and this community of your family and friends, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. I, Joseph, take you, Sheila, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. For all that are gathered here today to celebrate with Joseph and Sheila, especially those who have traveled a great distance, that God will bless them and watch over them. We pray to the Lord. For all married couples and couples preparing to marry, that they may mirror to us God's love for us and all God's people, we pray to the Lord. For Joseph and Sheila, now united as husband and wife, that their love for each other may continue to grow and be a source of inspiration to us all, we pray to the Lord. May God, the Eternal Father, keep you of one heart and love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell always in you and abide in your hearts and in your home. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. certainly have a lot to be thankful for in this room. Dear Lord, please watch the newly married couple, bless their uh, new family, and please bless this union of the Mulligan and the Duarte family. To Joe, to Catherine, the entire Mulligan family for welcoming us and for hosting this evening. And on behalf of my wife, and myself, my family, I just want to say we're very thankful. Joseph and I extend a very warm welcome to each and every one of you. Those of you who have traveled near and far, family and friends, we couldn't be happier tonight. We really couldn't. Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Tuarte, we wish you all the happiness that your hearts can hold on your wedding day and always. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon you. May good health and good fortune always be yours. And may God hold you in the hollow of his hand. Thank God for bringing us all together safely this evening. Thank you to all the people who had a hand in putting together this reception. Also a tremendous and grateful thank you to Joe's parents. Hope and Joe, for your endless generosity you've extended to Sheila, our family and friends, not only leading up to this night, but beginning several years ago, you had welcomed our daughter with open arms from the day you met her. On a beautiful Saturday morning in October of 1992, Sheila's debut began. In true Fitzgerald fashion of recycling relatives' names, we named her Sheila Eileen after both Catherine and I, younger sisters. My sister Eileen is here with us tonight, but regretfully, Sheila Fitzgerald went to heaven too early just a few years ago. Her heart will never be the same since this loss, but we have no doubt that she has the best seat in the house to keep an eye on us and for the rest of our lives. Since our daughter didn't have a sister, she began to cultivate female friendships, beginning with her voluminous amount of female cousins, then continuing with grammar school, high school, and college friends and she's surrounded by all those women at this very moment. As every parent in this room knows, you hope to provide the best for your children as they grow. I'm not speaking of material possessions. You try the best to raise them with love, provide them with an education, keep them safe, healthy, and teach them to be kind. Over the years, there are countless times you say to your children, I love you. With the exception of a few years while they're teenagers, they say, I love you back. The years fly by quickly, and one day your daughter says, Dad, I love him. And just that switch of the three-letter word at the end of that sentence is life-changing. And when your daughter says, Dad, I love him, you pray with all your might that the man she chose is kind, puts others first, is level-headed, is hardworking, fiercely devoted to his grandparents, parents, and siblings, funny, and likes to dance. 
Joe, our prayers have been heard. You are all that and more. Catherine and I, Thomas, Brendan, and Kristen are honored that you are now a family member. Hope and Joe, thank you for raising a wonderful young man. How do you sum up over 30 years of friendship when that friendship also includes the fact that you've grown up together, went to college together, lived together, and have shared countless memories at all stages of each other's lives? The short and sweet answer is, you can't. But in all seriousness, just like everyone else who knows her, I am beyond grateful to have Sheila in my life. And while she's the person who you can rely on to have a good time and keep the party going, she's also the person that provides unwavering support when you need it, unquestionable dedication at all times, and constant commitment to those closest to her. Joe, you are perfect for my best friend Sheila. Go with the flow, unflappable, putting everyone else in your life, including Sheila, ahead of yourself. All of these qualities and then some makes it very clear why Sheila loves you so much. When I met Sheila, she fit in immediately. Her genuine, warm-hearted, and loving personality was the perfect balance to our crazy family. Sheila, we love you so much as the person you are, and to see you bringing the absolute best out of Joe makes us love you more. I know you each will give each other everything you deserve out of a husband and a wife. I cherish the memories I have with the both of you, my brother the last 27 years, and beyond excited for the memories we're gonna to make together for the rest of our lives. Oh, wow. <laughs> you gotta edit some of this stuff. Guys, don't have me going on the main line crying all over the place. Turn around. Yeah, you're gonna chop it over your head. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Keep going. <laughs> Perfect. That's perfect. Your love takes on what? There's a lot of this dress here. I don't know where to stand. I'm a little afraid at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pretending. <laughs>